Um, Minasan? What? Okay, if you say so. Um, I think here we are, right? To be honest, I don't think I'm the best person in the world to try a tiling manager, but on features, tree-based tiling with vertical and horizontal split containers, um, checked. Vim-like key bindings for navigation and moving windows, checked. Drag and drop support, checked. Support for floating windows, smart gaps and focus hint, checked. Customizable shortcuts in preferences, obviously. Multi-display support, some and some not. Tiling support per workspace, hmm. Um, not exactly sure what that means, but we can't set tiling in specific shell workspaces, or at least I can't figure how that works out. Update hint color scheme, checked. Stacked layout, checked. And some super old GNOME compatibility if you're using Debian or something. We can swap the current window with the last active window. There is auto split or quarter tiling. We can show or hide the tab decoration with a key binding and resize the windows with shortcuts. Um, resizing windows with shortcuts. You know what? I really don't want to be part of this, so I pass, but you're free to waste your life memorizing them, possibly for a few weeks till you move on to your next window manager and repeat. Um, super quickly, I'll go on a run of the basic features and possibly I will miss lots on the way. So apologies in advance, but I only tried it out like 20 minutes. So we can activate the extension from shell menu and it will immediately tile the windows, but it will also add an indicator so we'll know it's running. From quick options, we can turn on off the gaps on single windows, disable the hint borders, and we can open the preferences. We can also use a shortcut for it. Um, if we open a new window, it will split it horizontally, but the next one will stack it vertically. We Now I guess we need some more space so we can resize everything from a single point. Um, and we can also swap windows between them. Let me put some color to recognize it maybe. So if we move this to the edge of the next window, it will swap in place. But if we move it over it, we can create a tab container. Just like that. Gosh, how much I love this. Only if it had a bit better UI. Oh, and we can hide the decoration if we want, but it won't be a way to tell afterwards. And now we have more room down here. We can resize back the apps on the left. Something common we need to do on tiling managers is to set a specific window on float mode. But with Forge extension, we can additionally set a window class on float mode. It's super and C for current window, super shift and C for window class and press back to deactivate. Meanwhile, Nautilus should had been resized. So the extension isn't bug free. Um, anyway, let's super fast check on the extension options to show you one of the best things about it. The one I failed when I was reading the features. A moment please to tidy my desktop up. Uh, I won't lie, I often make mistakes when I'm moving the windows. It's not a super smooth process, but practice makes perfection. So the first two options is to disable the stacked and tabbed tiling. And that bug icon pretty much indicates that having these features enabled can crash GNOME, even if they were enabled by default. Don't know, but fortunately for me, I didn't have a single crash, so I guess we are okay. On appearance, we can change the gap size and various colors. And I'm sorry, I'm skipping everything like I don't care, but actually I don't care. Workspaces options is much more cooler and check this out. So we have one, two, three, four enabled workspaces and the next one is the fifth, right? Wrong, because it starts counting from zero. So next is fourth and here we can add the workspaces we want to exclude from tiling. So if we open a window on the fourth workspace, it will float, but the same window will get tiled on the next workspace. This is virtually a super amazing feature that makes tiling actually pointful, although I get it won't play well with the dynamic workspaces. And even if we set them to static, it will still be problematic because we can't rearrange them or create new ones on the fly. Well, that was everything. Oh, and because some people are leaving comments about bugs, I'm aware and it's not, I'm trying to hide them like they don't matter because they do. But YouTube isn't GitHub to open issues that. So take care and see you next time. And don't miss to donate me because my microphone isn't very good and I'm so poor to buy a new one.